Good day, this is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news, and reviews. We are back with our T20 Ultra 2 smartwatch, also known as the T10 Ultra 2 smartwatch. To show you that T20 and the Ultra 2 is just the same, we have here on the about section, as you can see, we have the T10 Ultra 2 model. Okay, so this time we are going to pair it with the support app, the High Watch Pro. We'll try to install the support app for the Android smartphone. And we'll see if it works, especially the push notifications. We are going to activate it, but we will not have a demo for it. What we are after is the uh, installation, the pairing of the smartwatch and of course checking additional features for the wearable so on our installation if you have any questions regarding the D10 Ultra 2 smartwatch or the High Watch Pro application just drop a comment below and we will try to answer your queries if we do have the time alright let's start we are ready let's check the battery okay so that's enough for us to install or pair the smartwatch with the support app. Next, let's install the High Watch Pro application. So we have here the Google Play Store. Just search High Watch Pro application. So let's search for the app. Okay, so we have here our High Watch Pro with 10 million plus downloads. Tap on to install. Google Play will download and install the support app automatically. So let's wait for it. Okay, so 42.70 MB. Very lightweight application for your Android smartphone. So you don't have to worry too much on the storage space of your wearable. Just 42.70 MB. And as you can see here, very fast when it comes to download. Let's see. And it's now installing. Let's wait for it to finish the installation of the support app High Watch Pro. It is available for Android and iOS platform. So let's wait okay as you can see here it has finished installing and it's now scanning some uh, scanning the support app for viruses or any other issues tap on open so we have here user protocol privacy protocol and user protocol so let's agree let's wait okay and the high watch pro will open the app we'll see if there's some permissions so this is a, this is an ad continue to the app device disconnected we have here our first permission allow high watch pro to access this device's location allow and we have the UI so we have a home set motion and mind to pair your wearable tap on the okay Bluetooth pairing got it tap on the set menu bind devices to experience more features tap on this one our Bluetooth let's see if it's activated yes Let's wait for it to scan or search for our T10 Ultra 2 smartwatch. As you can see here, the support app found several applications. But our goal here is to pair with the T10 Ultra 2 smartwatch. So we have our T10. Let's make sure that this is our T10. 
go to the about section of your wearable and we have the address so the same 20 20 33 1b 4523 tap on the t10 ultra tool now the support app is trying to communicate with the smartwatch and it is trying to connect committing for the time setting bluetooth based connection succeeded committing for user profile and let's see if we are connected so it's not yet so let's just wait we are still disconnected let's tap on it again we have the t10 here tap on it again let's try to connect hopefully we will not have any issues so you can see some of the features here hopefully let's see so bluetooth here is activated completed completed and we are now paired as you can see okay so if okay pair and connect we have permissions here pair i guess we are now successfully paired with a smartwatch okay we have the t10 ultra 2 here so let's see find and we are paired okay hopefully it is stable and as you can see here if you experience this type of connection at first it will not connect just reconnect it again then let's activate some of the permission here so let's go to the message push activate the call reminder agree allow high watch pro to access your contacts another permission here allow allow high watch pro to make and manage phone calls if you are not comfortable with the permissions you can deny it allow so we're done with the call reminder, SMS reminder. Agree. Allow Hi Watch Pro to send and view SMS messages. It's now committing. Go back. Let's see. We are disconnected. Seems like we do have an unstable connection here. But anyway. It may depend on the smartwatch or the smartphone that you have. We'll continue the push notification connection. Completed. Go back to message push. SMS reminder. Let's activate Facebook. Open the notification access. Go for or look for the iWatch Pro allow go back activate some of the application here and Instagram okay are we disconnected again so if we are disconnected let's set the settings later on the T10 Ultra 2 with the High Watch Pro is not uh, it's not stable as you can see. Hopefully they will have a fix for this. I don't know if this is on my side only, if it's happening in my smartphone, the smartwatch. Maybe yours is stable. Just drop a comment below, share it to us. You are still disconnected. then let's see our t10 ultra as you can see it's active more settings so we are paired here go back uh, background settings self start let's set it here i watch pro T10 
electronic power limit nah, that's okay again let's spare it again where's our t10 if we'll have another issue we'll disconnect it and pair it again we already let the smartwatch to run in the background let's remove it first just to make it sure disconnect settings and pair then let's go back here bind devices so it's already here as you can see trying to reconnect again as you can see here it is trying to you trying to connect okay we are connected again hopefully this will be stable ready go to a war let's go to some of the settings here you have sedentary reminder race to wake let's activate fair to connect Bear. going back message push we already activated some of the applications here let's activate it again and as you can see here it is very unstable disappointing connection for a war t10 ultra 2 or the t20 ultra 2 so i don't recommend it if you are planning to get one i tried also this smartwatch with the other smartphone and it seems like it is just the same result hopefully they will have a an update for this to fix this if you are experiencing the same problem drop a comment below so we are connected again every time that we go here in the message push notifications there's always an issue as you can see and we are disconnected again i guess we can't do any more about this we'll see later on i'm going to try to uh, troubleshoot we are connected again so we will not go anymore with the message push notifications so here are some of the settings here race to wake alarm sedentary reminder dial settings over the air upgrade let's see if we have an update for this one a fix latest version no need to update background settings okay. we already set it earlier and that's it again so that's it on how to pair your t10 ultra to smartwatch to the high watch pro application on android platform but unfortunately there are some issues with the connection as you can see here very unstable although we are connected every time that we go to the message push notifications we experience an issue again let's try committing and now set successfully okay maybe you just have to wait a few more minutes just to connect but anyway i find it very unstable we all okay as you can see here disconnected again so that's it for our video tutorial and hopefully uh, we will be able to pair the wearable without any issues at all if you have any questions regarding the pairing, just drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries if you do have that time. Bye!